Hi practice buddies. So on the harsh desert planet of Tatooine, there was once a wise old moisture farmer who had been collecting water from the air for many years. And then one day his faithful dewback jumped over the fence and bolted into the sand dunes and his neighbours came over to sympathise with him and tell him how unlucky he was, to which the farmer replied, we'll see. The next morning, to everyone's surprise, the dewback returned home, only it brought three other dewbacks along with it, and they all happily came into the pen and started munching on the desert sage that the farmer had left out for them. And all the neighbours celebrated and said, what wonderful luck, now you're, you've got four dewbacks and you're richer than ever before, to which the farmer replied, we'll see. The next day, the farmer's daughter tried to mount one of these wild dewbacks, and the dewback threw her off and she broke her leg. The neighbours all gathered around to express their sympathy for that terrible event, and the farmer said, we'll see. The next week, the hamlet was visited by the rebellion, which was trying to recruit youngsters for its fight against the Galactic Empire, which we all know works very hard to bring peace and order to the galaxy. They looked at the farmer's daughter with the broken leg and they said, this isn't the youngster we're looking for, and moved along. The neighbours came round and said, what great luck you've had. Now your daughter won't have to fight a futile war against the empire. To which the farmer replied, We'll see. This is a very famous story, many versions of which can be heard on different planets around the galaxy. But it is a story about the ups and downs of life, and how some good things turn bad, and some bad things can turn good. But the most interesting thing about this particular farmer was that no one really knew his name. Instead, they called him the Happy Farmer. <laughs> So today we are going to go over The Happy Farmer, which is quite an advanced piece. We're going to sing it and then we'll break it down a little bit and I'll explain how to memorise it because it's quite a tough one to memorise and then we'll play it through. If you stick around to the end, maybe we'll find out a little bit more about this mysterious farmer and why no one knew his name. Let's sing it through, shall we? Okay, so this tune is the tune that he would whistle when he would go about his work on an everyday basis. Now we're going to set our metronomes to 80 because we're actually going to sing this slightly slower than we're going to play it. When we play it, we'll do so at 90 beats per minute. But for now, let's sing it at 80 beats per minute. Are you ready? One, two, ready, go! <laughs> Great sing through, well done. Okay, so lots of students think that Happy Farmer is difficult, but actually it's the opposite, it's super easy. The thing that catches students out is the memory again, a bit like in a tude. So to get past that, all you need to do is think about the different endings for each of the different lines. So first of all, there are two first endings. They're identical and they go like this. So high two, one, D on the D string. The second two endings are slightly different and they go like this. So A, two on D, three. All you have to do is remember where those endings come. Now the first ending comes at the end of the first line. So why don't we play that? Let's set our metronome to 90 beats per minute to play. One, two, ready, go. The second line is exactly the same as the first line. Let's do it, shall we? One, two, ready, go. As you can see, the first two lines are identical. So now you've done 
two out of five lines. So in a way, if you're thinking about the happy farmer himself, what he's doing with those two lines is that he's extracting the moisture from the air and letting it run down into the moisture evaporators and into the underground tanks. And those are the two lines in which he's going about his daily business, extracting water from the air. Now the next part is when he takes those tanks up from the ground using his dewback, his huge reptile beast of burden that helps him about the farm. So why don't we go ahead and do the third line, which is the little bit where the water tanks are getting loaded onto the dewback. Ready, go. <laughs> Simple, eh? So he's loading the dew back up with the water tanks. It goes back to his daily business after that. So once he's loaded the dew back up and the dew back has taken the water tanks to the transports, which will then take them to Moss Isley and all the other cities, he goes about his daily business, getting moisture out of the air. So let's play that daily business part again, shall we? Which is the same as the first line, same as the second line. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> And now we stopped there because we're going to use the different ending, the A, 2 and D, 3 ending, not the first ending. So this is where you set your memory marker. Just those three simple notes. So now let's play the final phrase of the piece, which is the music which shows the dewback getting loaded up with the tanks and the farmer going about his daily business, as usual, with the second ending. Okay, so let's try that. One, two, ready, go. So the structure of Happy Farmer is like this. The farmer goes about his daily business with the first ending, which is 2, 1, D, the next line. Farmer goes about his daily business, again, as usual, with the first ending. 2, 1, D. Then he loads up the dew back with the water tanks. And you've got that little interlude of other music. And then he goes about his daily business, but with the second ending. Then he goes back and loads up the dew back. And then he goes about his daily business again but with the second ending. Why don't we go ahead now and play the whole thing? I'll put the music up on the screen and we can read along and play along and you've got me the whole way through. All right, let's try it. One, two, ready, go. Well done practice buddies for getting this far in the video. A lot of students find Happy Farmer quite difficult to master and in a way it kind of is. It's a bit like farming in real life. It requires you to be concentrated and positive and resilient but at the same time be able to keep repetitive tasks interesting. So by setting your memory markers right you can make this whole piece a lot easier for yourself. All you have to do is remember first two endings second two endings. And then you can sit back and enjoy the story of the wise old farmer who understands the ups and downs of life. Or you can make up your own story. That's the beauty of music and of practicing. The path before you is yours to take. Now who exactly was this happy farmer? No one really knew his name, but at the back of his hut in a chest he kept an old lightsaber with a yellow blade. Yellow is the colour of the Jedi Sentinels who, as well as being able to use the Force, were also really adept at technique. And for violin players, technique is very important because it's how we make our violin playing better. If you would like me to do some technique videos, we can do so aboard my Star Destroyer, which is in low Earth orbit at the moment. 
Make sure you hit like on this video and subscribe and press that bell icon so you can be notified when new videos become available. If we can get the likes nice and high on this video, we can go back up to the Star Destroyer where I defeated the Rebel Spy and we can learn more about violin technique and help you forge your path to becoming the ultimate violin Jedi.